Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, make a table of points using GeoGebra Classic 5 version. In Classic 6 there's probably a table uh, feature already in, uh, available. So, what you need to do is type in a function. So let's just type in f squared of minus 5. Okay, and what we've got here is we've got function f of x as x squared minus 5. Now you can actually drag that if you wanted to over there to actually label your curve. You can then format the text if you wanted to, make it bold, stand out whatever colour you want it to be. Okay, now what I want to do is create a table of points from this uh, curve. So if I now go to view and set spreadsheet mo mode, and what I'm going to do is make a list of points from minus 4 to 4. Okay, going up in steps of 1. But you can make the step what you want. So I'm going to you only need to type in the first two. So, so it works very similar to Excel. So if you now highlight those until you get a little plus. So you can see there's a little plus here in the corner here. And drag it down. You'll get... Uh, the x value is going up in steps of 1. Now, if you want the corresponding y value, all you need to do is press equals f of, and now we want it to consider cell A1. So you can do this in lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't matter. And then press equals, it will give you the uh, x value. For example, minus 4 squared is 16, 6 is minus 5 is 11. If we now uh, want to copy that down all here, what we've now got is a set of coordinates for this. Okay, so if we now highlight these, and we want to put the points now on the curve, if we right click and press create a list of points, we can now see we've got the points on the curve. And if we press A and then shift I, and then right click, we can format those list of points to what we want it to be. So I want it maybe to show the value, maybe change the color to red so they stand out. Okay, so now what I've got is a curve uh, f of x is equal to x squared, and I've got corresponding points from a table that I've made from the original function. So what I've done, I'll just repeat what I've done, created a function, from the function made a list of points, list of coordinates and then also then use the software to put those list of coordinates onto the graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.